everyone, it's Camila. I hope you're all having a great day. If you're new here on the channel, we mostly do speed builds. So if that interests you, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. But today we are doing something a little different, not only because I'm building a style that I never built, but also because I'm doing a Q&A. So I'm going to talk about the build a little at the beginning of the video, but I asked um, on Twitter and Instagram for people to ask me questions and I'm going to answer them in this video because it's a 28 minutes long video and I think that um, I don't have that much to say about this build just want to talk a bit about the vision I had and how it came together but there's not that much information that I need to share about it so I just decided that I would do a Q&A um, for the most part of the voiceover but yeah um i never built in that style and i'm saying that style because i still i'm still not able to pronounce the name of this style i'm really sorry so i'm just not going to say it because i don't want people to be annoyed but um yeah so the only thing i knew when i started this build is that i wanted to use the you know the kitchen bathroom tiles that came with jungle adventure and i wanted to use the blue swatch because i think it's probably one of the most beautiful floorings that we have in game in my opinion and i just knew that i wanted to use that and i had like a plan because i'm not doing that for all of my builds but for some of them i'm kind of um planning what i want to do and i'm drawing um, the floor plan and the shape of the house overall I'm not like deciding where I'm going to put the couch or something like some things like that sorry but um, you know I had like an idea of where I wanted things to go and where I wanted the bathrooms for example doing the floor plan was still a pain especially for the second floor but I didn't include it so you won't see um, me do it. It just took so much time so I didn't want to to be like boring or something. So it's not included and I also didn't include all the bathrooms. So you know they're all pretty much looking the same. So it's not like something really original or something. There's four bedrooms in this house, so one for the parents and they have their own bathroom and there's also three kids bedrooms and four bathrooms too, I think. I think they're all complete and I also included laundry. I did a little room that I imagined was like a little, I think it's called a pantry, I'm not really sure, but it's where you put like the food that you don't need to put in the fridge. And I did this little room, I think it's kind of interesting. And there's also a really big laundry room where there's two um, sets of laundry machines because I thought that this family probably has a lot of money. And since there's like five members, I thought that it would be a great idea for them to have two sets of laundry, mach laundry machines, sorry. But yeah, there's also an office and pretty big hallways, but I didn't include the process in the video. You will just see it in the screenshots. I just didn't think it was really interesting for you guys to see. So. As I said, I asked for people to ask me questions on Twitter or Instagram, or did I say it? I'm not really sure <laughs> because I started this voiceover two times, but the first question I'm going to answer is from Kami Simming, and she asked me if I was studying at the moment, and the answer is yes. So I'm currently studying literature. Um, again, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it all right but that's what i'm studying and where i live it well the way it works is that you go to elementary school after that you go to high school um and you're done with high school once you're 17 and after that you have to go to cegep and where i live it's the only place where there's cegep in the world 
and basically it's well you start to study something that you want to do but after that you will have to go to university probably as i said i'm currently studying literature and i'm still going to do that next year because i'm starting university next year so that's what i'm studying and after that simmer adelina i'm not sure i'm pronouncing her name right i'm sorry if i'm not but she asked me if i'm nervous before doing my voiceovers and yes i am i was more nervous when i started for example for my first voiceover i think i started like 10 times because i was just so nervous and i didn't want people to think that i was bad at doing them or something like that now it's okay i think um i'm less scared and less um nervous but for example for this one which is um something different than what i do normally because i don't usually talk about talk about myself normally i only talk about the build but for this one i'm a bit more nervous than normally <laughs> i think it's normal but overall it's okay it's just that for example for a voiceover that is really long like 28 minutes like today it's something that is more difficult for me especially since english isn't my first language and i'm kind of scared that i'm not going to keep up and sometimes i'm searching for my words as i say um a lot of times and i know that my grammar and my spelling is not like perfect and i don't want to upset some people because i know that some people are really protective um, of their languages and i'm not blaming them um i understand that completely so i just don't want to annoy people or you know i know some people don't really like to listen to different accents so yeah just want to do it correctly and sometimes it can be stressful for me but it's okay and after that maki yt asked me where i get my inspiration and ideas for my builds um i don't do that really often but sometimes when i want to build a specific kind of style for example for the japanese mansion i'm going to google for ideas and maybe to know a little more about the style that i want to build just because obviously i didn't study in that so i don't really know perfectly the styles um but before i started my channel i had like a notebook and i wrote like four pages of notes and ideas it just comes to me and since i'm watching speed builds from a lot of years um you know i have a lot of ideas and sometimes it's things that some people already did for example um, opposite twins apartment a lot of people did that on youtube but you know we are always like um, adding our own personal touch as builders it's just you know really coming from my mind and i know a lot of people are using pinterest um, which is not my case i don't really like it but if you want to try it you could definitely i know a lot of people like it and i think it's a great application and you can get a lot of ideas there but you know i'm only building what i feel like building at the moment so right now i felt like doing a mediterranean home sorry <laughs> but Sometimes I'm more feeling like doing something modern or something like that, but I never force myself to build something I don't feel like doing. Um, even for a trend, it's not what I want to do. I really want to build some things that I like because I know that otherwise it's not going to come out well. But yeah, um, so that's probably what I would answer you. I'm not really sure where I get my sp inspiration, um, but you can definitely Google like on Pinterest or uh, google images so hopefully that helps and he also asks me 
how did you get so good at building so i don't think i'm that good at building but if you want some advice i would say that practice is definitely the most important thing um i'm building for a lot of hours per day i could say and i've been building for years now so i have definitely a lot of hours on the game and i kind of know where are the objects so it's going faster for me than some people that aren't building that much and you know i tried a lot of styles i tried a lot of things and you know it's just practice and also if at the beginning because i know some people just bought the game or something like that because it went really um, at a low price recently but if you want to improve i think you could do like real to sims series maybe and i know a lot of people are like taking a picture as a reference and they get inspired from it so i think it's a really good idea and it will probably get you to try some things out in the build and buy um, catalog and maybe like mix some objects to do specific things so i think it's a great idea to do that not necessarily try to recreate some builds that you can see in real life but just get inspired from them and try to make it like the most accurate as possible so i think that's probably the advices that i would get give to some people i don't really know i also got asked a lot what was my favorite food and Mermel play asked me what was my favorite food in life and what was it in the sims so i guess i have to answer that i really love tacos and quesadillas all the things that use like tortillas or something like that i really like that i'm not really sure why i just love to be able like to customize my food maybe i'm not really sure how to explain it but for example if you have a taco you can put probably whatever you want in it and i know like in united states there's a really famous restaurant that is called taco bell i don't have that where i live but i definitely would love to try one day um, if you live in United States, you can maybe tell me if you love Taco Bell. I would love to hear that. But yeah, that would probably be my answer for um, real life food. But in The Sims, I don't really know why because it's not something that I love that much in real life. But I really love to make my Sims eat spaghetti. I think it's because it really looks great in the game. I feel like it looks really good and I don't know why. I just don't have any explanation for that. And I just realized that I forgot to say thank you to all of the, the people that asked me questions. It really means a lot and I was really happy to read them. And it's always really fun to um, answer questions like that. After that, Austin from The Sim Sanctuary asks me what is my favorite Sims pack from any game. And I'm going to have to answer City Living in Sims 4 because I just really love this pack. I know a lot of people are often saying Seasons, but it's not that much of a game changer for me because I don't really play the game that much. Um, obviously i prefer to build and it's always really nice to be able to do apartments and i also think that the town which is san maishuno um it's really like there's a lot of life in it and i think that it's really cool to play in it and you're always meeting new sims and some stuff like that so that's probably what i would answer and if someone asks me which pack they should get, I would probably straight up say see the living because all of the activities are really cool. And as I said, San Maishuno and the fact that you're able to do apartments. Um, there will be apartments in equal lifestyle, so it's really cool too. 
But yeah, that would be my answer. And after that, Maggie Gepar, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name right. She's asking me, what games do you play currently besides The Sims 4? So, um, it's been like three months since I didn't play any other games than Sims or almost. Um, but I played a lot League of Legends and I just started to... Um, play it again so like this week and i'm not that good but it's still a good game so if you don't know it i recommend it and it's free so you can download it um on internet and i also love overwatch but this one is pretty expensive i think yeah that's pretty much my favorite games other than the sims i think that's probably what I would suggest, but I also love um, Minecraft, so it's a really cool game. I have a lot of friends that are playing that, so we can like do different servers and we can like explore the world. I don't know if some people here are familiar with Minecraft, but I think that if you like The Sims, you're probably going to like Minecraft, it's really cool. And Maggie is also asking me what ethnicity I am and which languages I speak. So you probably already know that I speak English. I'm not bilingual, so I know sometimes I'm doing a lot of mistakes and I don't know all the world. So I wouldn't say I'm bilingual, but I think I'm okay with my English. And my first language is French. So I'm French Canadian and I live in the province of Quebec in Canada and I always lived there so I guess that would be my answer. I don't know a lot about Spanish but since I traveled a lot in countries where people are speaking Spanish I learned a lot of words but these are basic words, so I wouldn't be able to keep a conversation in Spanish or something like that. But yeah, so that would be my answer. After that, Wembles is asking me what is my favorite style of build. And I have to say that I don't know because um, I just started my channel like three months ago and before starting i was building a lot but i wasn't really building in different styles like for example japanese mediterranean or some stuff like that um i've always been building in like modern style or like suburban homes maybe so i don't really have an answer but i think it would probably be um modern i'm not sure because i really like to do really big mansions with luxurious things but you know i'm not really sure what my favorite style would be so hopefully it's not a really disappointing answer but i'm gonna have to explore a little more before i can choose a really specific favorite style so daydream sims asked me if I could travel to any place in the world, where would I go? And this question is really hard. Um, I traveled not a lot, I wouldn't say that, but I did to I did go to a lot of places that were in um, South America, but I would love to go to Europe because I never went there. And it's probably one of my biggest dreams i could say i would love to go to uk or maybe france i'm not really sure wh which country in europe but i would love to go in this um, continent it's really something that interests me a lot or maybe i would love to go in more asian countries um, I'm not sure where and I'm a bit difficult with food so I guess that could be a problem but I still think it would be really nice to discover new cultures and stuff like that so that would be my answer I don't have like specific countries Red Ross is also asking me besides The Sims what other hobbies I have 
So I'm gonna have to say that I really love to read, I also love to sing, and I also really enjoy writing. So as I said, I'm studying literature and I guess that's probably really obvious that I like to read and write, but I really love to imagine stories. So you could probably imagine that I would love to do Let's Plays. It's not in my plans right now, but I still um, really like to like tell myself little stories when I'm playing The Sims and doing something else than building and yeah i really like storytelling and i take well took singing lessons for maybe three or four years before and i stopped really recently but yeah i did like some shows and some some stuff like that so it was really cool and i really love to to do that but I didn't have that much time to continue my my singing lessons so that's why I stopped and Julia Builds is asking me a question that ties up really well with this and she asks me what is my favorite book and what is my favorite movie so for the book I'm gonna have to say Illuminé I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it great again but it's a book where there is like little drawings I know it sounds a little kid childish but it's not it's actually a sci-fi book and there's like plans of the spaceship and some stuff like that to get you to understand better the book and i just think it's really original and unique so i really suggest this book if you like to read sci-fi things it's really one of the best books i read in my entire life and i read the two first um, books but there's a third one that is going to come in French really soon I'm not really sure when and I'm still waiting like I just can't wait anymore but yeah that would be my favorite book and for the favorite movie I would have to say Avatar um it's not really recent but I really like it and I really love the like um, moral message that is coming with this movie and I just think it's a beautiful one and all the effects are really looking great Julia is also asking me what is my favorite color and it's red I don't have that much information to say about that my favorite color is red and April Dark is asking me what do I like the most in creating videos and I have two things to say about that. So my favorite part of creating, so the creating process would be definitely building because it's one of my passions. So I love to edit too, but it's not my favorite thing. And after that, I really, really love to read the comments, you know, I started my channel to get to share my ideas and get to share my creations so that's definitely one of the parts that I enjoy the most about um, having a channel and having um, videos and sharing them so that's what I would say and the sorry simmer is asking me what is my biggest inspiration in your life and she said sims and just life in general so for the sims I would say Avalyn um, she's my favorite builder out, out there and I really love her videos and she's one of the builders that inspired me to start my own channel and in the real life I would say my mother but I don't really want to go too deep in that because you know it's a bit personal Marlena Sims is also asking me what helps you when you're feeling anxious and I don't know if she knew that I was a bit anxious in life or if she has anxiety problems herself or maybe both. But if I can give you an advice, um, I'm doing a lot of yoga. So I took like lessons of yoga a bit and I know a bit of about yoga. But if you don't know anything about it, there's like some people that are streaming to help you do yoga so um, maybe that can help you and I'm also doing meditation 
so that would probably be my advice is I'm still looking for some things that are helping me because I have myself anxiety problems so I'm not like 100% getting to fight my anxiety so that's what is coming to my mind right now but if you want other advices or you know any of you guys you can message me and I will try to help you but I still have two other questions that I will go through really quickly so not Maria is asking me what is my last favorite ice cream flavor and I did google what was the translation in English but in French it's pistache and in English it's going to be pistachio um I just don't like it and I don't understand why people are eating that I'm sorry if you like it but that's gonna be my answer and Kikori Builds asks me a lot of questions but there are some of them that I already answered but yes I have one sibling and it's a sister and she is 15 yeah 15 and I'm not a full-time simmer what I'm doing for a living is currently like studying and I'm also a waitress in a restaurant but obviously I can't work right now because of the situation going on outside but you know I'm doing that and it's just my part-time job until I finish school and I'm going to finish school like in two or three years maybe so that's what I had to say for today just wanted to thank you guys again for all your really cool questions i really enjoyed doing this voiceover and i hope you liked it and i hope you like this build so if it's the case don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel you can also follow me on social medias all the links will be down in the description and this build will be available on the gallery my account is camilloytb so again thank you so much for watching and i wish to you all a great day bye